the <clears throat> the messages, the apparent messages, one could say, that there is no message, there is nothing to say, there is no to speak to, so to speak. This is not a teaching. All the ideas that happen within a teaching, namely that there is a person who has lost something, who is on a path, who can find something, who can even become enlightened or liberated. Um, all this is just regarded as maybe the wrong word, but all of this would be just part of a dream. And the dream is, I am. But when I say this is a dream, seen from the person, it again sounds as if there is something happening, a real dream, something that now is the problem, something that now has to be worked on or worked through and stuff like that. But saying that the person is a dream, actually it means there is no person. And in that sense, there isn't even a dream happening. It's a dream that there is a dream. It's a dream that there is a, a false reality which could be replaced by a real reality. It's part of a dream that there is um, a wrong way of experiencing or a wrong way to be unenlightened, separate, whatever, and that this can be or will be replaced by the right way to be enlightened, liberated, unified, whatever. All those things are just ideas within that dream that there is someone in the first place. In that sense, this is absolutely not a teaching. This is not helping anyone. No one will get anything from that. It's impossible. It's impossible because no one ever got anything from anything. That's why the seeking never stopped for the person, so to speak. The seeking never stopped for the person because on the one hand, it, it was never really happening. On the other hand, because what seems to be fulfilling, what seems to have given something to me, it never actually gave anything to anyone. There was no gaining at all. It was an illusion. It, it just seemed like that for the person, but it never actually worked. No teaching worked, no achievement worked, so to speak, in a sense of finding this fulfillment. Maybe you got what you wanted, so to speak, but there wasn't fulfillment in it, which was the actual goal, so to speak. So in that sense, this won't bring anything and nothing will bring anything. That's the natural reality. It's impossible because what is, is everything. It's naturally whole and complete. On the other hand, it's totally empty. It's empty of an additional value. It's empty of meaning. It's empty of something that can be gotten out of it. That's basically why it doesn't work, so to speak, why seeking doesn't work. And it will not work here as it didn't work anywhere else. So what apparently happens is that this message points to that. It points to that apparent dilemma and exposes it as illusory. But it doesn't do that on purpose. It doesn't do that because it intends to achieve something with that. It's not done in order to gain something. It's just what apparently happens, exactly as everything else. It's not better, it's not worse, it's just as everything else, what apparently happens, empty and full, without direction, without goal, without holding anything back, nor trying to do something or trying to get something. So all there is is just this. All there is is what apparently happens exactly as it is for no one. There is no realization of any kind. <laughs> I 
which doesn't matter, of course, because it's absolutely not needed. So this is already, in a way, a dreamt, um, a dreamt condition, maybe, that I need to see it, that there has to be some kind of realization, that I have to whatever. No, of course not. It was never needed, so to speak. It was, a, it was an idea, well, an idea, kind of, an idea all the time. It was never needed. Life, so to speak, apparently happened all the time without the need to arrive anywhere. It's a dreamt need to find, to arrive, to lose the eye, to become enlightened, to whatever. It wasn't, it's not needed and it wasn't needed. Okay, question in the chat. If, <laughs> if there's not even a dream going on, why am I having an experience? Since nothing is completely unaware, uh, could it wrong about saying nothing is going on? Because there's definitely something going on. Well, th there seems to be something going on for you. And this you has the experience to be something that's going on. I'm now here. There is something which is happening. Me, me is happening. And so the projection is there is something happening. But why, so to speak, it feels like that. Why that is what apparently happens on apparently your side is unanswerable. No one knows. But on the other hand, <laughs> <laughs> this you, so to speak, is the only thing which experience is happening anyway. Nothing else does that. So it's not that there is a real experiencing going on, because no one notices that even, except you. Is question is no thing appearing as the me? No, I wouldn't say so. One could say no thing or nothing appears as the illusion of me. But it's not that there appears a me or something. But bodies running, it's a story, but bodies running around claiming to be someone is no thing, it is what apparently happens. For no one, to no one. What's the difference between no thing and nothing? Well, uh, nothing and no thing in a way, it captures it already. It's nothing and something. It's real and unreal. So when mm. you say nothing appearing, it, nothing appearing as the illusion of me is kind of nothing and something. And no thing is just putting them together in one word. Ah, uh, okay. Sort of like everything. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I mean. When you say it's no thing appearing as something, then you double, then you double the, the thingy side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's the important details. <laughs> you don't want to waste words now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Andreas? Yes. Hi. There, there, there is no movement, right? Yes. It was quite a thing to see that. <laughs> because, I mean, I wake up, I go to work, I travel from one place to another, I do all the things, it feels like a lot of movement. But there's not really moving, there's not really movement. 
yes it seems, like, exactly. it, it seems like there is movement but yes. it isn't Yes, one could say so. That's what apparently happens, movement. But yeah. the only thing which experiences to be moving is a dream. The right. Person. right. Nothing has yeah. had the experience to me to be moving. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes it is being seen here. And this is what he refers to nothing is happening. I, I said there is no movement, and you said there is nothing happening. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it just sometimes try to yeah to see if what is happening here or whatever, what, what is being seen here is the same like what you try to describe. It is not it is not to be described. That's why it's sometimes difficult to put it into words. So I say there is no movement. Well, there is so much happening on the other. I mean, there are so many, so many things happened, and at the same time, there is sometimes a strong. Yeah, it's not a feeling. It may be a saying that there is no really movement. So, it's quite a thing to feel. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I maybe, maybe I can say it in a different way. It feels like I'm moving from A to B. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I think I'm getting it somewhere, but it's not really happening. It's not really, it's not exactly. really happening. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's not something that happens. Right. The Zoom talk isn't something that happens in right. time and space. Right. It's just what apparently happens. Yes, and that's why it's so difficult to talk about it because it's really, very, yeah, you can't really describe that. Really. It's impossible because, yes. because it's not an experience. It's not in a certain way. That's the thing. Yes. So for me, it was like, wow, there is not even a movement. So that was in a way shocking. Yeah, that's what I tried to. Like. <laughs> well, nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> so that's quite a shock, yeah. Yeah, it's unexpected, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, it's unexpected. And at the same time, there was also another unexpected thing that was like, uh, that there is merely an existence. There is merely an existence to things. There is no, of course. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that was also a shocking thing. It's like coming like a flash, it's like, yeah. So. Oh, yes, nothing exists. Yeah, but it's quite a shock, I mean, to see that for the first time. That it's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I mean, the whole sense of existence, in a way, is just a projection from the person, just projects this sense of existence onto everything. It just says there is existence no matter if it's neutral or absolute, or there is some kind of existence, but it only is a projection from this sense of there is something to me, I exist. Exactly, and that projection feels very firm, very strong, like, and I think this but is the contraction, yeah. Uh, there is and no that, possibility for the person to go beyond that, that impression. Right. And that feel like a, a very strong contraction, that protection. It's really, that's the contraction, in a way. In a way, yeah. In a way. Apparently, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, like the protection feel like protection, like with, with, with knowing, like I know and I know and I know. So there's all this knowing protection world around it, in a way. Yes. Trying to survive, trying to remain, yes. protect yes. myself, stay alive, be there, yeah. 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 Anyway, it's just great to share this, being able to share that here. So thank yeah. you very much, Andrea. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> okay, question. This message is very complicated. As you mentioned, it's impossible to understand. Uh, yes, but in the end, it's impossible to understand, not because it's complicated, it's impossible to understand because there is no real message. <laughs> That's the thing. The, 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 the problem for the person is, I mean, not just this message. The, the problem for the person is that it wants to understand life or existence. And it thinks that it is something that out there, there is this separate reality, which is a circumstance or which is in a certain way and that I'm able to find out how that is that certain way 
So the person ends up in this divided reality of many things and processes and stuff going on. And it desperately tries to bring it all together to find out how it actually is. And of course, it tries to do that with this message as well. Kind of, ah, he says that, then he says that, and then there is no one, but then there is the illusion of it. And now how, how shall I ever bring this together? And it's impossible. It's just impossible, not because there are so many things to think of or so many aspects to take in consideration. No, it doesn't work because there is no real reality happening. There is no something out there, no absolute reality, no life, how it really is. There is no how it really is. It's not, that's why it's not only very complicated, it's impossible. There is no connection between the seeking of the person in this divided reality and what we speak about here. They will never meet, not a single bit. There is no understanding at all of anything. <clears throat> it's far worse than just complicated. There is no hope. <laughs> it will never, how it really is, will never be gotten. But the good news is it's not needed. So. Hi Andreas, question in the chat. Hi Andreas, it is so hard to talk about that, impossible, because even saying that it apparently happens sounds as if there would be an appearance. Yes, I know. When I say that's what apparently happens, the person still here happens. Yeah, yeah, but something is happening. It's apparent, but it's happened. Yeah, yeah. Probably the only thing one could say is that there is just nothing. But even that you can't say, because if there is nothing, you can't say anything. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah I. It's meant like that. There is no message. And no matter how many words are spoken, nothing is being said, not just on my side. There is no content, co uh, content, sorry. There is, I think that's, there is no content of anything, of words, of trees, of the computer, of you. It's empty. Nothing can be said. And even this is not a statement. There is no final statement. There is no truth. There is no bottom line. Bottom line, you can say that no, impossible. <laughs> Andreas? Yes. Could you say that you are describing what is? Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, maybe one could say it's an apparent description, but it's not, it's not a real description. It can't be described. But yeah, in a way, it's an apparent description. But for no reason. In the end, it's just what's coming out. It's not even observing and then report. It's a direct report, if you want. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. And, and it, it, it brings a, a true a true joy here or a true rest, mm -hmm. I could mm -hmm. say, even though on the one hand, I'm trying to censor, this, this censorship who wants to have it his way, he wants to understand it, he wants to, and even though that's, that's impossible, I mean, I, I never am as joyous as I'm, as I'm now with this. A parent message. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I, that's the thing. It, it's it's really not intended or it's not real. But of course, it points to wholeness. Yeah, or the pointing to wholeness is wholeness itself. Yeah. So the apparent, that's why it's an apparent description, one could say. Um, the description itself is what is being described. 
and that's whole and complete. And, well, I would I wouldn't dare to say joyful, but yeah, to me it brings so much joy, and the fact that there's no intention. I mean, it's so clear. It's wonderful. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, someone can't hear me. I can hear you already, uh, Andreas. <laughs> All right, perfect. Yes. Uh, and I also have a question. Um, yeah. Do you think that real love is um, true the ego? Again, true love? Is, is true the ego? Ego? I Sorry, fully ego? No, uh, true love yes is that uh, that you um um yeah say so, so, uh, for example give your feedback through the ego so um, I, i'm sorry i don't really know what you mean i mean one could say all there is sitting in front of a screen is true love this is true love well, the person has an idea about true love, but I think that's not what you mean. No, that's not what I mean. It's more, um, you know, here uh, I, I'm working at school and the teacher tells blah, blah, blah. You, you say this and I, it feels for me like I'm, I'm holding back. Yeah. And um, so it's more, but when I uh, I'm say more um, about about uh, uh, my knowledge, for example, then um, I know that he is very, um, fe I feel he feels attacked. All right. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now, now I'm more in a, in a strategy for, so I, I don't say anything about it. So just let yeah. it. But it, it mm. yeah. All right. So it's also not important, but yeah. Well, I just don't <laughs> just don't know anything to say to this. Um, mm -hmm. Or I don't know if there was a question. Actually, I still didn't get that. Yeah, the question was more um, true love is that 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 you uh, give feedback uh, so straight ah, through love. Yes, ah, through love. Um, no, no. Well, it depends on how you see it. I mean, when you say all there is is love, then of course speaking is love too. But I'm not giving feedback from a position of love. I'm not. <laughs> No, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's just what comes out. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Question. Why is it that even though I believe what you say, the experience I'm having doesn't end? Well, I have no idea, for no reason. That's just what apparently happens. That's wholeness. Because it's wholeness. So we are not, we are not trying to end something here. There is absolutely no intention in this. There is no me which needs to end, or there is no illusion of me which needs to end. And we are not working on that here. That would be part of the dream of a person, that there is some kind of goal in general and here. There isn't. There is no goal. And there is nothing that needs to end or needs to stay or whatever. It's this. It's just exactly as it is.
question. Is there even being? Well, it, it depends on how you how, how you use the word, but at least there is no experience of being. And that's what the person usually refers to, as if there is something going on because it is felt, it is sensed. That's the thing, the person can more or less easily leave a lot of stuff out, thoughts, feelings, it can even bring in the story, it can even bring attention back to itself, like lock off all the senses and stuff like that. But what will always will remain within the dream is a sense of existence, being, beingness. And in many spiritual teachers, this is referred to as the absolute reality, this which can't be taken away. Because it's right, the person can't, away, can't take away this, because it is itself, so to speak. The person can't take away itself. It can, apparently, it can take away thoughts, feelings, focus, attention. It somehow can, at least for moments, cut that off and end up with this pure sense of beingness and from that sense of beingness stating there is something i feel it i sense it the i can't take away this but it's exactly this one could say this sense of beingness this sense of existence that something is existent even if it's some neutral presence or something, which turns out to be illusory as well. In that sense, there is no being at all. Nothing is existing. Nothing. Nothing has the experience of existence, so to speak. That's the relief in a way. Oh, totally, of course. Yeah. Of yeah. course, because apparently the whole drama starts with this tiny sense of existence, which, which seems to be so innocent <laughs> and pure and stuff like that. <laughs> but out of that, the whole drama seems to arise. Yeah. In a way, even from, you know, perspective of seeking, that's the relief because then there's nothing that can be done. There's nothing that needs to, to be done the right way or the wrong way or anything doesn't matter. Nothing oh. matters in that sense. Is that's the relief even from to just to hear that from this point of view. Uh, that's true. But of course, the seeker flips back and forth between, oh, I don't have to do anything. And then I'm doing it. Do it. <laughs> oh, but I don't have to do it. But I want to, uh, I can't, but uh, I don't have. So, yes, there is some relief in that. True. Sure. But, yeah. And, and that's where, like, I think, <clears throat> you know, let's just qualify awareness teachings. They stay in that existence. Of course. And that's, that's what they why recommend they, that you do. That's why they are personal teachings. Existence is personal. Existence is the person, exactly. This, I would say, this sense of existence is the person. But it can feel neutral. That's why you can't, that separation, you don't need to call it the person, but that's already an experience of separation. And they usually think the person is the personal story. But this neutral, crystal clear, untouched sense of presence. This is, this must be God, so to speak. But it stays within existence. It's just another experience that's, that's advertised for. Be that, and then you are free from the rest. But it stays within awareness, within experience, within existence itself, that there is something which is. Yeah. There's no, absolutely no connection to what's being said here. Because of that, it, it stays in reality. Claiming that there is something which is real, pure awareness. That's what you are. Everything is illusion, but there is this presence. And this can't be denied. This is who you are and stuff like that. And no matter how they say, whether it's the sense of 
all there is is I or what I was saying yesterday is Mness or you know it's just like there's something underlying which I can rest on which I truly am which is real which can't be denied and yes and then comes some strategy that you can consciously be that or you can rest as that or you have to remember just that you are that kind of like whenever you have a problem remember that you already are that go back to this pure present whatever that's the thing conceptually they even say you are that already you don't have to do anything to be that and the person still goes yeah that's right that's right <laughs> true that's how it is for me as well but then when the problem comes the teaching starts because then you have to go back to this place again. You have to convince yourself to be that. You have to consciously be that, all those things. Mm. That's, why you re that's why you get the sentences from those awareness teachers and they sound brilliant. But on the second page, so to speak, you get the whole teaching about what to do to be that or to maintain that, abide as that and all that stuff. That's when the work starts again. <laughs> it feels like, to me, that feels like something comforting. That there's something that you can lay back into or something like that. that is of course. I mean, yeah. that's the hope of the person. To find something, a position, a place where it's all good for me something that I can rely on. In a way, one could say the person seeks something that is as itself, always there. <laughs> because what the person notices in a, is in a way that it can't rely on anything. It can't rely on how it feels. It can't rely on what things. It can't rely on partners. It can't rely on the weather. It can't <laughs> rely on absolutely. <laughs> I was just going to say like the partners thing, because it's like when, oh, I found my true partner, I can rely, you know, they're, they rely. And then, you know, it's just like, even at the end, even no matter how reliable somebody else is or how much they love you, it's going to be blown apart anyway. It's, it's not it. It's, it's an not appearance. It. Yeah. It's not it. Exactly. It's not it. Yeah. It, it, exactly because it's empty because it's all empty appearance so to speak but it's just not it exactly that's why there is this seeking for god or the absolute truth something that is always there like i am like me i'm also all, all always here and i'm lost in this real in this huge separate reality and there must be something that i can rely on and the hope is that then this gives me peace and rest and ah, uh, this place where I'm totally loved and totally free at the same time for me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and that's the thing, for moments it seems to work. That's the thing, all the methods, all the things for, for a while it seems to work that you get that experience for a moment. But as you seem to get this experience for a moment, this seems to be a proof that it is possible. So I can be ha I can be totally happy for five minutes. So it must be possible that I can be happier always or forever. But it's all within the dream and stuff. Uh, Andreas, yes, you are very silent. Do you hear me now? Yeah, it's better now. Yeah, it's better. Um, I noticed this this sense of uh, specialness uh, that me creates. Uh, it comes with uh, a lot of energy of worry, responsibilities, that like all the world depending on uh, on us. And since it's repeating over and over again. Um, uh, I don't know what is the point of this. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
I guess it's, not, it's nothing I, I can do. It's, it's just what's happening. Yes. Of course. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, you can also just go on speaking and then. I, I, I really don't know why, why I say this. Uh, probably it's really disturbing and uh, it needs to come up. <laughs> All right. Uh. Andreas, what you said before came into my mind. That's also where the business begins. Eh? Well, one could say so. Yes, mm. of course. Uh, yeah, there is a promise. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. I mean, it's already business. I mean, the person lives in business mm. because it wants yeah, to yeah, yeah. in order to get something back. So that's yes, already yes. business. Yes. Of course, when you start thinking that you have to sell something, when you start thinking that you have the answer to life, mm. that's worth its price, I would say. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. It, it was great what you said before. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Andreas, <clears throat> yes. the, the fact that you are not saying this remains stunning. The fact, uh, say again. You are not saying this. So this report we just spoke about. Yes. Is not coming from you. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. It's so clear that it makes me laugh. But <laughs> yeah, it's I so mean, obvious. It's How just, the hell can this be? <laughs> absolutely. It's just not personal. It has nothing to do with me or with you or with anyone else. It just hasn't. <laughs> it just hasn't. Yeah. And that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speechless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello, Andreas. Hello. Hi. That there is a difference between there is a me or there is no me. The difference is just illusory. There isn't even a difference between there is a me or there is no me. Yes. But this me is somehow uh, kind of always checking if there is still a me, it's getting less, or there is no me. This is impossible. It's, it's... Yes. Yes. I mean, it experiences it, itself as the difference. I yes. mean, I'm different from everything else. And the me somehow, by hearing this message, it got. It can never be heard. I mean, the me can never hear this message. It is kind of checking. Oh, I sh I shouldn't be. It should be no me. So it's checking all the time. Yes. And also, it's not about this message. It's also not about. Uh, I should be accepting more things. If I accept all things, then there is no me. It's not about that at all. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the message can't be heard because there isn't anything separate from the message or there isn't anyone separate from what happens. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And also this me thinks if I can accept things, then that's better. In, or I should accept. It's, it's not. It's For not. example, yeah, I should do something and then it'll be really different. That's the thing. The person experiences itself as different, and one could say it seeks the difference. Yes. What will make the, what will make the difference from me?
being fulfilled to from me being unfulfilled to me being fulfilled which thought which insight which experience which partner which job which will finally make a real difference yes yes and nothing does <laughs> because there is a for me it's always is 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 valuing for me is always valuing what is better what is worse but there is not there isn't a better or worse there isn't yes that just isn't it's totally that just isn't mm. it's not there i can't explain that it's not logical so to speak from the personal experience it, it can't be explained but that just isn't there nothing isn't. makes a difference no, it's it being. yeah but it's different if i'm happy or if i'm sad but but this is different well no not really no, no, it's just as empty as, as yes. the fuck. But so the person says, aha, if it's not different, it should feel the same all the time. <laughs> also, it's not that at all. It's not that. <laughs> Things just apparently happening. Just there's no difference. There isn't there is a certain way which should be or shouldn't be. It just yeah. yeah. Yes. And, and that is the freedom. That is the freedom. What? Again? But that is the freedom. That's the freedom. Oh, of course. Yeah. It's already like that. It's already, it already doesn't matter, so to speak. Already, nothing makes a difference. Yes. Yes. And by hearing this, the me would immediately think, oh, I, it doesn't matter. It has to experience. I don't mind, but it's not that at all. Of course, yeah. One one could say <laughs> by hearing this, the person immediately says, "Hmm, but that's different to how I experience." <laughs> yes. <laughs> overlooking, of course, overlooking. You know, not that it can be seen, but overlooking that it experiencing differently is exactly that which also doesn't make a difference exactly exactly yes that's yes. illusory that's illusory yes then it thinks that when i won't be there anymore then it will be really different yes <laughs> <laughs> then it turns out that not even this makes a difference <laughs> it, it doubles up its misery somehow which is illusory as well Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. <clears throat> okay, there's a question in the chat. But while they're suffering, emotional or physical, a person will always try to end it. So I don't think I can stop trying to end this experience. Uh, yes, uh, that's all right. You, you are not supposed to. Or one could say, of course, as long as there is the sense to be someone, there will be some kind of seeking going on. That's wholeness. Of course. This message doesn't try or can't even, even if it would try to, it can't comfort you. It can't say, I know you're a me, but stop seeking because it's all fine. No, as long as there is the sense of me, there will be seeking. Of course, it's inevitable. There is no suggestion here at all. Not, not on purpose, not because I think it's better, but just because it's impossible. <laughs> I just can't give any suggestions because what happens is it. And if it's apparently you thinking you are someone and thinking that you need to be enlightened, that's harness. That's it. Well, what to do about that? Why? Andres? Yes. Who, who is he hearing this message? No one. <laughs> that's the problem. Oh. <laughs> actually okay. no one when you say it's for me it seems like it's someone exactly the person can't hear no one it'll understand someone yeah 
that's true, someone or something. No, but no one hears it. It's not being heard. Because the, the, apparently the person hears something, but there isn't something being said. Nothing is being said, so it's unheard. So it's it's like uh, Tony said, uh, it's everything about the energy, right? Uh, well, it's not really about energy. Well, everything is. Is energy kind of yeah no thing not not something certain not a circumstance no thing yes yeah yeah I mean it's a story I mean you can just say some people say the me is an energy a me energy so what seems to be happening here apparently can be described as rather energetic than for example conceptual this is not a philosophy group exchanging concepts or something like that, which would be very boring. So apparently there is some energetic, the, the, the seeking energy just trying to find something. But it's a story because it's not really happening. In that sense, it's not about anything. It's not about the concepts, but it's also not about the energetic stuff. That's just what seems to be happening. But it's not really about that. Because if it was, was about the energetic stuff, then the loop is then, you, oh, I got to go and, and have the energy and, you know, like all that stuff. Yeah, which exactly. I, it's I, another I, teaching. The moment it's about anything, you then know. it's an energetic teaching. Yes, exactly. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, uh, I just wanted to say one thing. Uh, you know, you were going to say something. I don't want to. No, I think I was. Um, what's interesting is what I love about is the ruthlessness of this, you know, like the complete, what I love about it until. <laughs> <laughs> until it's about you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> until it comes and I'm like, oh shit, you know, <laughs> and then <laughs> panic sits in. <laughs> Yeah, ruthless with other people is quite nice to watch. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. I mean, it is ruthless. Yeah. I mean, sitting in front of a screen, being this, being seeking or non seeking, whatever, is ruthlessly itself. Sitting in front of, of, of this doesn't take care about anything. Am I good? Am I bad? Is it pleasant? Is it unpleasant? That's the ruthlessness, so to speak. It just is as it is. Andreas? Yes? Uh, when... when uh... I don't know you, but for sure, Tony said uh, this message is heard. Yes. What this mean? What this mean? Well, <laughs> well, it's uh, even if you say it is heard, it's not heard by anyone. So there isn't there isn't anything or anyone that hears it. But still, the message is heard. You know, it's a story, but apparently one could say, you know, it's just very deeply in the story. That's the thing. But apparently there are a, a number of people participating who somehow resonate with it. But it's not that there are persons, that there are me's resonating with it. That's just what apparently happens. But it's still not heard by anyone who then becomes anything or can do something with it. But apparently there can be nodding. Mm -hmm. So apparently there, there seems to be a hearing, but it's not that something is heard. It's not that an information is heard. 
you know, it's so we come back to that thing energetically is hurt something. Well, if you want so, okay. Which isn't a gain, no one gains anything from that. If you want so, this resonance is what apparently happens. An openness is what apparently happens. A willingness to hear it is what apparently happens. All right. Which is already utterly itself. No one gains anything from it. But yes, that's what seems to be happening. So in this case, if it's, let's say, energetically hurt, uh, it doesn't matter really what, what, uh, what people say. Uh, even teachers. Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. If, if the illusion is, well, you know, that's also back in the story. If the, if the illusion is supposed to drop, not even a teacher can do anything about it. <laughs> no matter how much he bombards you with wisdom and all that stuff. <laughs> and methods and ideas and concepts. He won't. <laughs> yes. In the end, all, all these concepts doesn't matter. You can have, <laughs> uh, uh, but in the same time, uh, all these concepts create a uh, contractive energy, right? So uh, everything is connected and not. One could say so, yeah. And th th that just is now real separation. And yes, everything is real and unreal. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> um, a question. For several years, I was much into Zen. And in many ways, it's very similar to what you are saying. Yes, but then they are sitting in, they are in meditation for years, <laughs> concentrating, solving koans, putting a lot of effort into their project. But what the heck are they doing? What goal do they want to reach? Yes, that's a good question. The Zen master might say, well, there is no goal, but sit for 10 more years. Um, yes, that's the thing. What usually happens in religions or traditions is that maybe conceptually they are quite close to this, but again, they have to turn it into a goal, into an abstract reality, thinking that this is something that you can achieve. Of course, conceptually, especially in Zen, it's very close to this, and maybe the original Zen was this. But exactly, the person can't do differently than put it in at the side and start with the daily practice and seeking and it can say yeah yeah it is like that but i have to do meditate i have to meditate i have to sit i which in a way is almost true in a way but it has nothing to do with this message and would just be part of a dream that there is any connection between practice and the end of me there is no connection between those two not a single bit liberation if you want so is the breakdown of um of practice and the end of the practitioner so to speak but not because there has been practice no that there's absolutely no uh, no connection so okay comment sometimes it seems like you are just me appearing in my dream to wake me up but of course there is no one <laughs> that's a sweet story i'm appearing in your <laughs> dreams well i don't know if i would want but yeah um next question uh, andre yes oh. yeah um this contracted energy 
it's also related to the contracted energy we feel in the body, right? right. Well, the, well, the funny thing is that it's exactly that contracted energy, which is the illusion. There is no contracted energy, which is you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the, the question was bigger, but now I don't have any question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I, I would be curious, but yeah. No, it, it was uh, uh, related, but when this contracting energy is felt and meditation is happening, actually, it's dissipate the meditation. The techniques can help me during the time to dissipate this contracted energy felt in the body. So, uh, uh, so? that's all. Yeah, all right. Well, it didn't help, so. For a while, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Question is, no thing speaks and no thing is heard. Yeah, yeah, why not? It's all, all there is is no thing. Speaking, hearing, feeling computer, the web, so all there is is no thing, but not for anyone. It's not a realization or knowing. <laughs> I never got into Zen because <laughs> I don't like rice. <laughs> well, I never could sit for so long. And then even with closed eyes, I was, I would have hated it. Maybe they could have talked me into that I'm in a very deep process of resistance or stuff. Uh, all right. There is something totally appealing about like, you know, being a, a recluse in that sense, like withdrawing from all the- Oh, of course. Yeah, you know, and then going in and, you know, there's absolutely appealing, you know? Oh, totally. I mean, it has, it has its effects. So you get result like the relief or stuff like that. Of course, there's there's just no connection to fulfillment. But it, yeah, of course, there's something very appealing. And of course, they dance around those concepts, those ideas, like in a way all teachings do. But of course, they turn it also into something personal. But that's appealing again. Because the person thinking, wow, maybe I will really reach that. Of course, that's interesting and appealing and you get results, moments of relaxation and relief or all that stuff. And all those masters, they all seem so sure. I mean, I haven't really gotten into it that much, but I mean, they, they all seem, especially Zen, they were, really no it's just you know of course i mean i mean they made it their full-time job to <laughs> to to have that impression on the, for themselves and of course for others <laughs> that that happens when you turn spirituality into a full-time job mm. to look good to be relaxed to look relaxed and well, they would also state that it's oh most of them would just state that it's a constant practice meditation is not something that you do for one hour <laughs> it's a 24 hour job all right to the master, ultimate meditation really is killing yourself isn't it again the ultimate meditation is killing yourself <laughs> yeah well I don't take it that literally. <laughs> he was really serious. <laughs> yeah, exactly. he, he meant what he said. <laughs> A good example for us to live. Well, yeah. Uh. <laughs> but uh, in a way, you can call it this also teaching, right? 
um, the seeker would call it that, but I don't, because there is no teaching. But yes, the seeker would regard this as another teaching. That's true. As if I'm trying to tell you something. The seeker hopes actually that this is a teaching. <laughs> the seeker hopes that I'm someone who finally speaks the truth or who finally has the answer and that this is now the real truth and stuff like that. Yeah, it just isn't. But yes, the seeker may think that. That's true. Or the seeker may think that this is another path to be occupied with this message, to think about this message, to attend the meetings. I tried this and this and this, and now I try this. Maybe this works out. It's absolutely not what's happening here. But of course, the seeker will approach it like that, which will the seeker do anyway because it's an approach to life seeking and trying to do something is the person's approach to life in general i'm alive and i have to find fulfillment and of course it will approach this message or life you know it can almost exchange those words it will approach this as well like that of course naturally it has to it doesn't do differently Every kind of an approach is like that. And this is not a teaching. There is nothing to get. I'm not telling you anything. I'm not speaking to you. This doesn't, this isn't intended to lead to some clarity or insight or ah. This there is absolutely no intention to create anything on your side. It may happen or not. But it's not intended. And even if it happens, an insight or clarity or whatever, it wouldn't be real anyway. It would just be what apparently happens. And it wouldn't bring about gaining. It would just be what apparently happens. Okay. The last two. No, the last three, but they are, oh no, there are a few more. Shall we do it? Yeah, I think quickly. Um, <clears throat> I think for me, there is no difference between practicing Zen or participating on this. Yes, exactly. That's what I just said. Yes. So question is whatever you're saying is also a story? Uh, yes, of course. Yes, there is no truth which can be spoken. Or there is also no unspoken truth, I'm sorry. There's no truth. So yeah, it's stories. Okay, Zen practices make the mind give up, can make the mind give up? Well, momentarily, yes. So for a moment, there may be silent, uh, silence in the mind if you work through the koans and stuff. But it'll start quite quickly afterwards again. But then you are waiting for when the mind really gives up. But it'll never happen. And it wouldn't be liberation, by the way. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Sitting Zen brings hemorrhoids, nothing else. Well, maybe the humble seeker would say at least something, but all right. <laughs> okay, sorry for the overtime. I think that's it. Um, that's it. There is no message. There is nothing to gain. There's nothing to gain from anything, basically, because it's all empty, including I am. There isn't anyone there in the first place. There is no, no separation. There's no one on a path. No one has lost anything. It's whole and complete already. What happens, what apparently happens is just whole and complete. It's this exactly as it is for no one. Thank you very much. I wish you a lovely day. Danke, danke. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful Bye. meeting. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye to everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you, Andrea. What a great, Bye. what a great talk. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.